Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another week of Bravo. Destiny Zerg Predictions. I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay because it's actually an entire Trials of Osiris match without me using any bullets. Now unfortunately there is no Trials of Osiris until September 30th so I will not be able to make a prediction on that. And I do believe that these next couple of weeks for Zer will be more PvE related. And although we may see a couple of good weapons here in the next few weeks before the Rise of Iron. Now with only a few weeks left to complete those year 2 moment of triumphs, I would imagine we're going to get some sort of raid related gear. So for all those people that still need to complete that raid, now is definitely the time to do it. Now we can go ahead and get on into these predictions. We're going to start this week out with the Titan class. Because the last four weeks in a row, he has actually brought helmets. Now that's actually pretty nice if you needed some of the defender gear because he just sold the Helm of the Saint, the Eternal Warrior, and the No Backup Plans quite recently. So if you needed any of that defender gear for the raids, that actually was quite helpful. Now this time around, I think we're going to be getting the Paragon Greek leg pieces. Now they're not actually all that useful, but in my opinion, they're some of the best looking exotics in the game. They look pretty amazing, and the only real perk they have is to do additional shoulder charge damage when in the air. So that can actually one hit someone out of their super, and it's actually quite fun to use in PvE if you do a lot of shoulder charging like I do. And if you don't have them, and you didn't know about it, the kneecaps on your legs will actually light up any time that your shoulder charge is ready. So that's actually pretty unique, and a lot of people might not know about that little hidden perk. But those are actually pretty great leg pieces, and I would definitely pick them up because they look pretty amazing. So now let's get into the Warlock. So last week, you guys got a helmet as well, the Obsidian Mind, which actually had not been sold in quite some time. Now, I really wouldn't be shocked if you guys got another helmet, which is why I think this week you guys are going to get the Skull of Dire Ahamankara. So this is another Warlock helmet that actually gives you additional health when using your Nova Bomb. Now, it doesn't really do much else, so if you don't use Nova Bomb at all, I wouldn't really even pick them up. But this helmet has not been sold in quite some time, and I could easily see Zer bringing it this week, especially due to the fact that it really has more PvE applications than it does anything else. Now onto the Hunters. You guys also got a helmet last week, which is quite rare to sell all three helmets in one week. Now this time around, I think you guys are going to be getting some boots, the Radiant Dance Machines. Now again, these aren't all that useful, but they do help you strafe faster when aiming down your sight. So for some snipers out there, that actually can be quite useful. I know I didn't even really know about them for quite a while, and then when I tested them out, it's actually pretty cool to snipe with them because it's a lot harder to get sniped because of how fast you're strafing back and forth. Now it does take a little bit of getting used to how fast you're going to be moving at first, but if you can get it down, you will actually be pretty unstoppable if you're a decent enough sniper. So I would actually test these boots out for yourselves if you haven't already. I know I had for a good year that I had them, and I just never even tried them out, but it's actually a pretty good thing to try out. And it can change up your playstyle a little bit. If you're one of those people who struggles trying to snipe, that can actually help you out a little bit because you'll have a little more time to get your shots out and you can cover a lot more ground while aiming down your sight. Now finally, we have the weapon and last week, just as I predicted, he sold the last word for the final Trials of Osiris of Year 2. So hopefully I can get this weapon prediction right again for you guys this week. But this time around, I don't think we're going to be getting anything too crazy because he did just sell the last word. Now keep in mind, I do think he's still going to sell that Might and Multi Soul sometime before the Rise of Iron. It could easily be this week so that people could use that in the raid. But to get those two weapons back to back would be pretty ridiculous, and I just don't see it happening this week. Which is why this time around, I think we're either going to be getting the Thunderlord or the Truth. So hopefully you guys did enjoy these predictions. If you did, be sure to leave yours in the comments down below, and as well, drop that like if you enjoyed. And I will see you guys next week for another episode. Peace.